Hello children, welcome to the world of language arts. Our topic today is enjoying poems. The poem we will be looking at today is Holiday Memories by June Crabbin. The poem can be found in the year 4, 5 and 6, Anthology of Poems. Reading Poems Aloud Poems are exciting because they express the writer's thoughts and feelings and help readers make connection to their experiences. Poems capture experiences and paint pictures with words. If you try to use your imagination while reading a poem, then you have truly captured the essence of the poem. Let's look at the title. Holiday Memories. What do you think the poem is about? Yes, it's about the writer's holiday experience. I'm sure you've been on holidays, right? How did you spend your last holiday? Did you do some traveling? Did you do anything interesting or did you just stay at home? In your worksheet, jot down the things that you did during the holidays. There are many ways to spend a holiday and this is what the poet is trying to say. The poet tells us about how she spent her holiday in the most unusual way. Now, before we read the poem aloud, here are some tips to help you. Know the poem. People expect that they understand the poem the first time they read it. Well, you don't have to put such high expectations on yourself. Poems are meant to be enjoyed. So read the poem to yourself a few times and familiarize yourself with it. That way, when you read the poem aloud, you will read it confidently. Identify the speaker in the poem. Who is the speaker in the poem? Is it an old man, a lady, a child, or an animal? What kind of attitude and voice would this character have in the poem? If you can change your voice to suit the character in the poem, that's even better. Understand the meaning of the poem. What does the poem mean? Take your time to read and understand the issues the poet is trying to say because it will affect how you should read the poem. If the poem is about pollution, then it's very inappropriate if you read the poem happily. Understand the poem first so you can read the poem in an appropriate tone. As mentioned, this poem is about a child sharing his or her holiday experience. So when you are talking about something fun and exciting like going on a holiday, you should sound excited too! Study difficult or unfamiliar words in the poem. There may be words in the poem that you don't know its meaning or pronunciation. Look up those words in the dictionary to help you understand the poem better. Identify words that need to be emphasized. Some words need to be emphasized because it gives the poem an extra punch. Try to identify the words you want to emphasize. For example, I wrestled with a jaguar and bored a kangaroo. The poet did two very different things in those two lines. Wrestling with a jaguar is a very rough physical activity. Meanwhile, he or she also bored a kangaroo. So maybe we should emphasize the words wrestled and bored. You can say wrestled with a big manly voice. Wrestled! And then you can use a slow voice and say bored. Even better if you add a yawn. I wrestled with a jaguar and I bored oh, a kangaroo. You can also emphasize the word jaguar and kangaroo to show the different animals the poet had seen. I wrestled with a jaguar and bored a kangaroo. See what a difference it makes when you emphasize different words? So have fun and play around with the words. Don't be shy. Read with emotion. Finally, it's important that you understand the emotion behind the poem. Don't read like a robot. Think of different ways you can convey feelings when you are reading the poem. This poem is about the poet doing crazy things like wrestling with animals, traveling to faraway places and meeting pirates during the holidays. So think, 
How can you express all that excitement while reading the poem? Take your time to digest all the tips I have shared with you. When you are ready, let's read the poem together. Okay, here goes. Holiday Memories by June Crabbin. When I was on holiday, I went to Timbuktu. I wrestled with a jaguar and bored a kangaroo. I journeyed into jungles. I swam the deepest sea. I climbed the highest mountain and the money puzzle tree. I chatted to a seagull. I met a big baboon. I floated on a moonbeam until I reached the moon. I visited the planets. I lit up all the stars. I gossiped to a parrot traveling to Mars. I sailed across the ocean. I drove a greyhound bus. I rode across the desert on a hippopotamus. I heard a mermaid singing. I fought a killer shark. I grappled with a grizzly in a wild safari park. I chased a band of pirates completely round the bend. And now the summer is over, and so this is the end. Wow, what a wonderful poem! Now, let's take a look at the worksheet. After reading this poem, let's complete task two and three. Task two. What is the message behind this poem? Let's think. What is the poet trying to tell us? Read the poem again. What can you say about the activities the poet did? Do you spend your holidays like the poet? If not, how is it different from your holiday experience? That's right. Most of the things the poet did are based on imagination. I don't think anyone has floated on a moonbeam and visited all the planets and lit the stars. So the poet is trying to tell us to be creative and imaginative in thinking. Based on the poem, can you list out the places the poet has been to? In the tree map, list out places the author has been that are in this world and places that are out of this world. Here are my answers. Places that are in this world. Timbuktu, sea, safari park, mountain, desert, jungle. Places that are out of this world. Planets, moon, Mars, stars. Follow my tips and with a lot of practice, I'm sure you will be great at reciting poems in no time. That's all the time we have today. Till next time. Bye!